Good morning, church, wherever you are right now. I want to talk to you about connect groups. We've just finished our term of connect groups, eight groups of people meeting to discuss and pray about a whole variety of different topics, all looking to grow in Christ together. And thank you to those of you who filled out the connect group review survey. Uh, I visited most of the groups in person, but it was great to get to hear your experiences on the survey too. So many people reported that something they loved most was the fellowship and just getting to be in a group of, with people that they hadn't really got to know very well before. One person said as they learned more about the people in their group, uh, they, they found out that they had more in common than they realised. One student said that it was lovely uh, getting to know a wider range of people in the church out with their student friends. And someone else said that as they opened up about something, in their group, it was great to have uh, one other member asking them weekly about it. They really valued that. And one person told me in person that they felt at church on Sundays that they had more people to talk to than before. Uh, we've, taught, we've taken on board all of your uh, feedback, so thank you so much for it, and it's been great to hear from you. We were due to begin the next term of our groups at the end of April, beginning of May kind of time. Now, obviously, things have changed a little bit. But I don't want to let things like lockdowns and quarantines and self-isolations get in the way of more of these great stories and experiences. In fact, I think for loads of us, it will be feeling more important than ever to have a small group of people in the church family that we can check in with regularly, to share with, to pray with, to connect with, so that we don't get lonely or stagnant. We want to keep growing in Christ together, don't we? So we're going to uh, bring the term forward slightly. We're going to kick off just after Easter and we're going to have our groups online this term in video groups. There'll be groups where you can study the Bible on different topics, uh, groups where you can pray together, a group where you can sing, a group where uh, you can play games together online, a group where you can get fit together. And all of the groups will let you stay connected, stay encouraged, stay growing and even maybe uh, make a few new friends. And we've been thinking hard too about how to make sure that these groups are as easily accessible for everyone in the church as much as we can. All you need to do to, to join in is to sign up for a group just like last term and then you need to add one app to your phone, tablet or computer. I will send out the link as a button in the coming days to let you do that uh, really easily. And then you don't need to register for any complicated programs or remember a new password for anything, your group leader will simply send you an email or a text allowing you to join in each week with one click. And even if you're not sure you can manage that, maybe technology really isn't your thing, uh, that's fine. There'll be a team of willing volunteers just waiting to give you a phone call and to talk you through it. Incidentally, if that's something you think you could help with, um, helping other people on a phone call, uh, then let me know. It'd be great to hear from you. So for now, uh, watch this space, watch the Facebook page, and watch your email accounts. And we're going to be unveiling the new groups and the sign-up uh, in the next few days. Have a great day, and maybe I'll see you on my computer screen uh, very soon. Bye for now.